Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about analysis of continuous beams by using three moment equation. So this is the continuous beam having two spans of 6 meters and 8 meters and it is carrying a UDL of 40 km per meter from here to C and we have to draw combined bending moment diagram for this continuous beam by using three moment equation. In this we have to draw combined bending moment diagram. And before this, we will just brief about combined bending moment diagram. Combined bending moment diagram is the combination of free bending moment diagram plus fixed bending moment diagram. The fixed bending moment diagram is a diagram of bending moment when the two ends of the beam is fixed, and the free bending moment diagram is a simply support bending moment diagram. This is the difference between the free is nothing but simple, and the fixed, the two ends of the beam is fixed. Let MA is the fixed end bending moment diagram, fixed end bending moment at A, and MB is the fixed end bending moment at B, and MC is the fixed end bending moment at C. In this case, you have to find the value before drawing this combined bending moment diagram. First, we have to find the value of fixed end bending moment at A at B and then C by using three moment equation and before that we have to analyze the span AB. AB is a simply supported beam carrying a UDL. AB is a span of 6 meters, of length is 6 meters and it is carrying a UDL of a UDL of 40 km per meter that the shape of the bending moment diagram is a parabolic. It's a maximum at the midpoint, at the mid of this span. And its value is W L square by 8 of 180 kN meter. And coming to second span BC, span BC having a length of 8 meters and it's carrying again its UDL and the maximum bending moment occurs at the center at the midpoint of 320 kN per meter. The shape of the bending moment diagram for the span BC it is simply supported beam, it is parabolic and its maximum at the center it is 320 kN meter and the area of this bending moment is positive for a simply supported bending moment, for a simply supported beam carrying a UDL, the nature of the bending moment diagram is positive. And next, apply three moment equation. We are applying three moment equation for the spans AB and BC. Now we are applying the three moment equation for the span AB and BC to find the fixed end bending moment at A and at B and at C. It is the fixed end bending moment at A into length of the first span and two types of fixed end moment at B span of first and span of second span plus moment fixed end moment at C into span of second span is equal to minus 6 into area of first bending moment diagram multiplied by the central distance of first bending moment diagram divided by length of the span plus 6 into A2 X2 by L2. See, A1, X1, L1, these are the area of the first bending moment diagram. X1 is the center of first bending moment diagram. L1 is the length of the first span. A2, X2, L2, these are the, A2 is the area of second bending moment diagram. X2 is the center of second bending moment diagram. L2 is the second span. As we know, the fixed bending moment at A is 0 and the fixed bending moment at C is 0 because the support, the left support is simply supported and the right support is simply supported. So there will be no fixed bending moment. The fixed moments are the reaction moments. The fixed moments are the reaction moments at C. When the beam of when the, the fixed bending moments are the reaction moments when the beam is fixed at the both the ends. This is the difference between this is a fixed bending moment and it is simply supported beam. It is a simply supported moment, the maximum bending moment occurs at the center 
and this is the fixed bending moments. These are the reaction moments when the beam is both ends are fixed. These are the simply supported bending moment. And let's come into this. As you know, MA at left support is zero, MC at right support is zero. So two tenths of MB fixed bending moment at left support. Span six plus eight. Span of first span, second span is equal to minus of six into area of this parabola. A1 of the first parabola is two thirds of its base into height, which is base is 180, and this span is six width width width. Area of second parabola it is two thirds of its base into height. Its base is 80 meters and height is 320. And similarly, the centroid is come into this. X1 is the center of first parabola. And before this, just look at it. Before this, we have to draw the bending moment diagram for this span A, B, B, C. A to B is the parabola of 180 and B2C it is 320. It's a positive, it's a simply bending moment, it's a simple bending moment diagram. And this is 320, it's a positive. And next, X1 is the centroid of first figure from A to this is X bar of first figure. It is L1 by 2, span by 2, L1, L2, L1 by 2, it is 6 by 2, 3 meters and x2 is the center of second figure it is l2 by 2 this is 8 by 2 it's 4 meters and we have to find the value of fixed and bending moment at the b and we know this this is total 0 2 tenths of mb l1 plus l2 6 plus 8 plus mc this quantity is 0 and equal this all this it sits into a1 x1 by l1 6 into a2 x2 bar by l2 x1 bar x2 bar at the center of the first figure and second figure by equating this equation you are going to get the value of fixed and bending moment at b is equal to minus 260 kN meter Yes, again, this is a fixed and bending moment. This is called fixed and bending moment. This moment is also called as fixed and bending moment, is defined as a moment of a bending of a moment when the both ends of the beam is fixed. When the both ends of the beam is fixed, it's called fixed and bending moment. It's a fixed and moment. And next you have to draw combined bending moment. And next you have to draw combined bending moment diagram. So this is called a simple bending moment, simple bending moment diagram. It's a simple bending moment diagram when the ends of the beam is simply supported. So it's called simple bending moment diagram. And now we have to draw fixed bending moment diagram. This is span A C B. We know that MA is zero. Fixed bending moment at A is zero. And MC is 0, MB is minus 260. It is minus 260. It's a negative. The simply, the simply supported bending moment diagram, free bending moment diagram is the positive, and the fixed end bending moment diagram is negative. This is called fixed end bending moment diagram. And now we have to draw combined bending moment diagram. You have to superimpose free bending moment and fixed end bending moment. A, C, B. This is 360, and it is 180, and again it is 260. This is the combined bending moment diagram. This is free bending moment diagram and this is fixed bending moment diagram. This is negative. It's a 
positive, this is the positive. This is called combined bending moment diagram. See, in this, we have solved this a continuous beam and an analysis of continuous beam by using three moment equation. Thank you, guys.